In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies, courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. security guards it's not my idea goose so quit complaining to me playing nursemaid to a bunch of pictures <laughs> that bunch of pictures happens to be treasures of art from a hundred different cultures both human and alien and priceless doc's right this is an opportunity to generate a lot of goodwill among allied planets but it's also an opportunity for big trouble and we're supposed to make sure that trouble doesn't happen it'll do you good to see an art show goose I'd rather be chasing smugglers. We have you on scans, Ranger One. Dupe Three. That landscape's from Nebraska. The planet or the state? The planet, Doc. And that, hmm, that looks like a Zotrop mobile. What's that thing? This is a sensation doll. It was made by one of the Poe mutants. Edgar Allan Poe mutants, it looks like. Don't joke, my friend. Once upon a time, the Poe mutants controlled a vast empire. For a bunch of big shots, they sure made lousy art. It's not what you can see that's so special about this object. You're supposed to touch it. <laughs> that's a good one. You're supposed to touch it and it's stuck under a foot of glass. You bet it is, because unless you're a Poe, that thing is deadly. It's a kind of battery, a storage battery. It holds one million emotions, a hundred thousand kinds of fear, a quarter million varieties of anger, jealousy, love, one touch, and... <laughs> the emotional electric chair. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about somebody stealing this thing. Maybe not. This sounds funny, I know, but it looks almost alive. In a way, it is. It literally contains the personality of its maker. Let's make the rounds. Now, what time is it? Relax, we got three more hours till everybody clears out and we can go to work. I thought I was going to go crazy cooped up inside that thing. Yeah, you'll forget all about that once you start counting your money, so let's get this business over with. Ooh. 
Be careful with those pieces. Would you look at this mess? How could you let this happen? Take it easy, Curator. I've ordered a full station search. Good. Find any identification on the thief your men stopped? None, but we're running a few checks right now. So are we. That's how they got in here. They just sat all scrunched up in here until everybody was gone. Get down from there! Are you loony? Curator, when was this web and spider installed? Why, just yesterday morning. Early shuttle brought it in from Mars. The artist lives there in a colony called New Pigal. A woman named Arizona McGee. I've heard of her. Everybody's heard of Arizona. She's fabulously famous. And she couldn't possibly have had anything to do with this. That is out of the... Emergency! Area 7! Come on, sounds like somebody's trying to leave. Wait for me! He's escaped! He's gone? You let him go? Listen, guys, I wasn't armed and he was. I don't get paid enough to be a hero. Galaxy Rangers, we're going to Mars. I think we should have a little talk with this Arizona McGee. Arizona McGee. Sensation dolls. Spiders from Mars. Now we're cooking. Mr. Subtract, I, I wasn't expecting you to be here. Oh, we've been waiting quite a while. Hope you don't mind. I gave my little friend some cake you had lying around. No, of course I don't mind. Well, I got it. Yeah, so I heard. Everybody's heard. What happened, Miller? You were both supposed to be back here by the time they even found out the Sensation Doll was missing. I don't know what happened, Mr. Subtract. Everything was great until we grabbed the thing. And then they got Sanderson. Yeah, they did. But at least I got the doll. Miller, kindly open that suitcase, will you? I want to see what this thing looks like. So, there it is, Mr. Subtract. Uh, the, do you have the money with you? I'm really gonna need it fast. Easy, Crumb. Uh, Mr. Subtract, uh, my money! Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? No, no, no! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, no, no, stop! No, 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 no! What's the story here? Are the bugs taking over? Call the exterminator. Earth pests that stowed away on colonists' ships have found Mars much to their liking. Well, I guess we know where the artist gets her inspiration. Arizona! Arizona McGee! Miller, is that you? Where you been? Who are you? I thought you were Miller. Miller? My helper! You don't think I lug all this heavy metal around by myself, do you? Are you people art collectors? Do you want to buy something? This helper of yours, Miller, by any chance, did he recently deliver a sculpture of yours to the show on Beta Space Station? Yes, just yesterday. What's the problem? 
Do you happen to know where Mr. Miller lives? You're police, aren't you? What's a Galaxy Ranger? Would you please come along with us and show us where Miller lives? We'll explain everything along the way. You sell much of this stuff? Believe it or not, yes! <laughs> I don't understand. You think he hid inside my sculpture? <laughs> if I get my hands on some track for doing this to me, I'll... I'm so mad I could tear him to pieces! I'm sorry I ever got involved in this thing. Why did I let Jackie subtract talk me into it? I'm sorry, Arizona. I'm really sorry. He touched the doll. Sounds as if he was forced to. The emotional electric chair. You all really hate me. Well, I hate you too! <laughs> this Jackie subtract who talked you into this. Does he have the Sensation doll now? If I tell you where he is, will you promise not to hurt me? We won't. Jackie lives over in the lowest east side. Everybody knows Jackie's subtract over there. Now please go away. You want what? A Mars Ruby. Go to the jewelry store, don't come to me. The Ruby I want isn't for sale. The owner wants to keep it, but I want it. You want somebody to steal this ruby for you, is that it? You don't want me, lady. You want Jackie Subtract. Pandemonium Street, number 301. Good little bug. Hey, boss, this lady wants to talk to you. Now, what's all this I hear about a ruby that's not for sale? I'm not interested in a ruby, Mr. Subtract. What really interests me is a little doll. Ah, I see. I need some help in here. You no. rang? If he leaves the building by the back exit, he'll run right into Goose. Crumb! Crumb! Here, Crumb! Come to Daddy! Where's the doll, creep? Doll? I don't play with dolls. Can't you see I'm a grown man? Don't get funny with me, pal. I'm warning you. Crumb, you naughty girl. Where have you been? I don't believe this. A trained roach. This job just keeps getting better. Crumb, attack! Yuck. Don't hurt Crumb. Have a heart. Leave my pet alone. Tell me where the doll is or I'll squash this bug. All right, just don't hurt her. Where is it? It's on its way to Earth. There's a guy there who collects statues and sculptures and stuff for this weird garden that he's got. I had the doll stolen for him. Where on Earth? I ran a check on this collector. He's an art lover, all right. What he loves, he buys. What he can't buy, he steals and smuggles from Tortuna to New Jersey. And he lives in New Jersey? He owns New Jersey. 
Roger, Ranger 1, you are cleared for landing. No, oh, it's so beautifully ugly, isn't it, Peters? If you say so, sir. The sun comes out at night, doesn't it, Peters? If you say so, sir. Sir, apparently some intruders have entered the property. Oh, I wonder if they've come for you. I don't think we need worry too much about intruders. This garden, something tells me it's not as innocent as it looks. Now I know why we haven't seen any guards around here. Why? I think there's the man to see. Be careful. Fountain! Blast the fountain! My fire fountain! Those Philistines have destroyed my fire fountain! If you say so, sir. There's something very familiar about the collector. You two deal with the collector. We'll take care of ourselves. Got an idea. We have to move together, okay? Drag this thing towards that tree over there. Goose, it's Brappo. And he's got the doll. Remember, don't touch it. Worse than gum on my boot. <laughs> I'm billing him for dry cleaning. You caused us a lot of trouble, Brappo. Now I'm going to cause you some. Peters, get rid of him. I quit, sir. Peters, all right. How much do you want? Don't make me mad. We're here for the doll. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> Nico! No! no! Goose! Oh. 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 Don't touch him! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Goose, can you hear me? Goose? How do you feel, Goose Man? Feel? I feel wonderful. Go to sleep, my masterpiece. You're safe now. What happened? Why didn't he? He did. Goose absorbed everything that the Sensation Doll had to give. One million emotions. But Goose's biodefenses protected him in a very special way. Do you remember what Nico said? That doll contains the life force of its maker. And Goose absorbed that life force. He became that Poe mutant artist. Goose? An artist? Then I'm Santa Claus. One million emotions. What was it like? Come on. What was what like? I didn't feel a thing, I'm telling you. You know us super troopers, Doc. We get angry and we get mad. And that's about as emotional as we ever get. Right? <laughs> 